all right guys for kaga here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic again uh on today's video we have a super interesting topics okay so first of all we're gonna go on twitter page we're gonna check out the person that we did yesterday because we have few updates uh, and he also posted the level 70 content so when you reach i'm now level 44 for example when you reach uh, level 70 this is what you're gonna unlock i will show you in a moment and as well we today the developers posted a video about the developing scenes okay so there we have a gameplay of a beast form right beast form character that will be dropping after alicia and we got partially the gameplay for that so i i, I def bike right bike beast form uh, and i want to check it out furthermore with you guys so hopefully you're gonna enjoy it overall okay leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below i'm gonna roll to 50k so if, if we can get it as soon as possible that would be amazing okay let me now go on there on the official twitter page and official uh youtube account for solo leveling arise uh, this is about those behind the scenes of the development okay and this is something we're gonna check out not everything but certain moments and then here you will see more precisely we're gonna check out this part bike bike part because you know bike beast form is dropping after alicia banner how everything stands right now from the data mines so i want to check out furthermore the gameplay related to that okay let me go now here uh so Ma shout out big shout out to mass doll solo leveling arise preview of level 70 content workshop of brilliant light demon king tower so this is what we are getting two game modes right workshop of brilliant light which you have like a normal and hard the prizes are the ones that are that are the best pretty much to make your character stronger which are the artifacts so definitely artifacts is the key uh, to actually get your stronger uh, get your characters really really strong overall so always focus on the artifacts when you, when you are done with acquiring the right characters to increase the battle power especially when you're constantly stuck or anything like that grind the correct sets for the artifacts okay so this will be a nice way on level 70 to actually increase the amount of artifacts with workshop of brilliant and here as well there we oh workshop of okay that uh, that's vulcane here okay vulcane but here there is also other bosses i see i see so it's just like one game mode but that one game mode has multiple bosses to fight against and this will be one of the game modes to acquire crazy amount of artifacts now look at this look at this part uh die shall gain following reward upon conquering the workshop so demon castle entrance demon castle 25th floor demon castle uh, castle 50th floor and you can see that the level of the artifacts and the legendary ones are looking super clean plus this artifact some of them maybe it's something new that we still don't have i can't remember i can see some of them we have but i believe this red one it looks a little bit special to me honestly but we're gonna see about that so definitely a new game mode after reaching end game level 70 which you're gonna unlock and then you're gonna be able to grind uh, those gears yeah th this will be like a special gear bro <clears throat> special gear hopefully we're gonna get an answer soon but definitely wanna show you that on today's video also uh soul level arise regarding the confusion of on alicia and cha's skill uh, so yeah cha's will cha will drop first then alicia and then afterwards bike uh beast form will drop afterwards okay disclaimer death might balance things out later or change the skill kit completely completely don't get your hopes up this is just to give a picture if the unit of the unit 
Okay, uh, we already checked checked that yesterday, so you can pause it and see it for yourself, but that's not the main topic for now. Like I already said in the yesterday's video, this is only data mines, everything is subject to change, so have that in mind. Uh, but, <clears throat> okay, roughly we can read this, now I'm interested. So about the wording on Alicia <clears throat> and Cha's skill set, it's known, it's a bit weird, it's just a copy-pasting the text. And I found out that in English text, there are two different English translations. Here are some fixes that might help you understand Kid better. Alicia Frost is Alicia exclusive buff stack that can enhance the core skill into Bitter Cold Spear. You gain one Frost stack for using skill 1, 2 and alt. Okay, this is pretty much what I explained yesterday, <clears throat> because I understood it uh, pretty well. Uh, Cha is a debuff that increases crit rate, crit damage taken on enemies, so they're more, they are more likely to get a critted by Cha. Uh, Waltz of the Sword, it's a buff exclusive to Cha and allow Dancer's skill to be spammed for 4 seconds of this buff duration. The Dancer, not to be confused with Dancer's skill, this is a Cha's exclusive buff that increases attack and crit rate with 3 maximum stacks. You can only gain, gain this buff by casting skill 2, Sword of Light. Okay. Now, the rest of it, you can read it for yourself, just these basic things, just to solidify what overall they, they will be capable of. But again, all of this is subject to change, so I, I don't want to confuse you too much with this, okay? For now. This is what I'm super interested uh, to see and show you. I mean, I already saw, but just like a glimpse. Because we already have partially the Alicia gameplay, nothing too much, and Chaz, but we didn't saw his gameplay at all, as far as I know. So I just want to add this as well. Okay, Bayek, will you transform? Oh, here it is. Here it is. A little bit of slashing. A little bit of slashing. Huge cost. Oh, it looks incredible, bro. Yeah, I believe that's all what we're getting from that part. If I go a little bit back, you will see also they added uh, a little bit more gameplay of Cha right here. She will be the next character dropping, dropping by the way. Uh, DPS machine overall. We'll be buffing that crit and attack up. At least you will be critting more with her and doing bigger damage to the opponents. And I believe definitely she'll be like destroying a lot. She'll be like destroying a lot. Look at these attacks. This is beautiful, by the way. She looks insane. She looks insane from this. Do we have Alicia? Yeah, we, we don't have Alicia here. Okay, guys, uh, that's pretty much it, what I wanted to say and cover. Let me now go back a little bit here and let me finish this part. Uh, as of Cha Passive, I might, I might mix the dupe and the zero star effect on it, since I don't know for sure which is which for every dupe tier. And I think UT and support skill are switched. Support one will inflict uncoverable instead of dealing more damage to branded target. Ooh, nice. Because like I said, that the only problem with Cha is her support, by the way. So this is actually really useful information here. Because if she's inflicting uncoverable with the support, oh boy, she's much more valuable then. For Cha's here summary to understand her skill kit, using core skill boost her attack. Uh, okay. Using the Dancer can brand enemy if this skill is crit, triggers, Waltz of the Shadow, that can make Chas palm this skill for 4 seconds, so she'll have like a trigger, in a way. Uh, using Sword, not like passive trigger, but active trigger. Using Sword of Light can gain Dancer buff, and also debuff the enemy with Uncoverable. Uh, unco unrecoverable, okay. Anti-heal. I guess the rest of it is understandable enough. 
since most of it is just damage and crit boost. Uh, hope it helps. As of for bike form, I will post soon, since his skill is confusing due to a different skill naming. But then again, these early leaks are not fixed, and death might change and balance stuff later on, because they're super broken. Like, Alicia Cha, super broken, and I cannot even comprehend maybe how beast form bike will be. Okay, with that, guys, we're gonna end the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Again, cannot wait for this endgame content to actually boost the artifacts. Uh, I will now start playing the game for today. Been doing other things, of course, post posting other games, working on other projects. But right now, I will keep on grinding the game. Um, I always cannot wait to actually play this and uh, grind this and make content on this. And of course, uh, today I will grind as much as possible artifacts and then afterwards we'll finish the story. I'm pretty much by, not by the end, but I'm getting there. I'm 80% done of the story pretty much. I have like 13 chapter, 14 and 15 and that's it. I believe two chapters is doable today. I will see. Uh, that's it. Love you. And yeah, see you next one. Bye.